Hey, my name is Carl Duan, and I'm from NCC University. Today, I'm going to talk about the fast and automatic variable selection method. First, let's take a look at the linear regression model first. So our goal is to improve the most well-known penalized variable selection method to identify the smallest subset of predictors variables that leads to accurate prediction of new responses. So by doing this, we use a new risk criteria. So for our, our method is called the auto lasso. So our, our methodology is first is to standardize the response and predictor variables, then get an initial estimator of beta. Then we choose a subset of variables minimizing the risks. And at the final step, we output the estimated beta hat and the variance. We did a simulated data design to compare the different variable selection methods. So first we call back the linear regression model. Then we provide two choices for user to, to the uh, correlation matrix. The first one is called the autoregressive of order one. The second one is called the compound symmetry. Also we provide an option to user to input the, their own signal to the noise ratio. Also, we said the multicolor simulation time is equal to 1,000. So for the performance of different variable selection method, we compare the accuracy rates, including the TPR, FPR, and FDR. For TPR, if the variable selection methods, TPR is close to one, which is better, but for the FPR and FDR, if the variable selection method is close to zero, which is better, we also we compare the biases, including the biases of active variables, relative error biases of sigma square, and all biases. So for this plot, we said the n is 100, p is 2n, SNR is 5, correlation is 0.85, and the correlation type is compound symmetry. So the first plot is the bias of the beta coefficient. So you can see the auto lasso method have less bias than the classical lasso method. And the second plot is the correct selection. So you can see here the classical lasso method select a lot of variables, but the auto lasso method only select the exactly five variables. And the third plot is called the biases of the active variable. So you can see here the auto lasso method is much better than the classical lasso method. The last plot is called the relative bias of the sigma square, and which is almost the same. This is this plot is in the same condition, but the correlation type is autoregressive. You can see here the auto lasso method is much better than the classical lasso method. So this is two tables to compare the accuracy rate. The first one is with the correlation type is compound symmetry. The second one is with the correlation type is autoregressive. So you can see the table of correlation type is compound symmetry. The auto lasso is TPR is one, FPR and FDR is close to zero. But the classical lasso method with the large FPR and FDR, this is the same as the correlation type is equal to autoregressive. So in this two table, we can exactly say the auto lasso method is much better than the classical lasso method. So for the, at the last of our project, we did an application of COVID-19 data set. Uh, we used our package COVID-19 to obtain the data set from March 1st to June 10th of 2020. We compared the number of variables selected by three methods, the auto lasso, classical lasso, and the linear regression mo LM model. So we compared the one day ahead, five days ahead, seven days ahead, and 10 days ahead of COVID confirmed cases. So you can see the auto lasso method can select the smaller subset of predictors. And even with a high 
candle correlation. The candle correlation is to uh, see the correlation between the response variable and the predict variables. At the last slide of my presentation, we compared the predicted confirmed cases of COVID-19 and the tested confirmed cases of the COVID-19 for three different methods, LM, classical lasso, and auto lasso, and in both in the log scale, scale and the original scale for the US and the first correlation is Pearson correlation and the second one is the candle correlation. So that's all my presentation. Thank you.